Hi, ladies. It's me, Fianna. Um, I'm back. I haven't been on here in a while. Um, I've just been so busy working and being a full-time, working full-time and then being a full-time mommy. So, um, I'm glad to be back. I hope you're glad to see me. Um, I miss you guys. I, I try to catch you, your videos when I can, but you know how it is, as being a first-time, full-time mom it's hard like um but all is well um i'm doing good if you follow me on instagram you can see my day-to-day -day, what i do um pictures of my baby pictures of me pictures of stuff that i buy random quotes random stuff so um i'm gonna start off with me uh i am almost four months postpartum next week it'll be four months um I didn't lose all of my baby weight yet. I think I got 15 pounds left to lose. Um, so I don't really have time to exercise because I work. My work schedule is crazy. Like I work from uh, 12 to 8:30. So in the mornings, I spend all my time with my baby until I gotta go to work and drop him off at the babysitter. And then as soon as I get home from work, I spend all my time with him too. I bathe him, put him to sleep. Then I have to do stuff that I have to do. And then I'm exhausted at the end of the day. So like exercising and making YouTube videos is like last on my list. Even though I love to exercise and I love to talk on YouTube and like to be interactive on here. But it's just that I can't now that I'm a full-time mom. So I was like, today is the perfect day to do it because baby is with his dad. And um, I have nothing to do um but okay so i'm gonna start i'm rambling on i'm gonna start off with myself um i lost about i lost i only got 15 more pounds to go um i got the marina about six weeks ago and it's it's going well i love it so far the only thing i do not like is that you you're going to spot like you're going to spot for at least three months. That's what they said. I, mean, I can handle that because I'm like three months and um, five years worth of coverage. No babies. No accidents. No nothing like that. Um, I'm good. Like, I'll take the three months of spotting. Um, it was a little cramp. It was a little crampy like after I got it done. Um, nothing major. Uh, let me think. When I got it done, it was quick in and out procedure. It took about like... I didn't take, they told you to take Motrin like a half an hour before you come, but I didn't take anything. Like, I'm like, nothing can be worse than those, um, contractions. So, in which it wasn't, it was like a walk in the park. Like, she was like, yeah, I'm done. She, I'm like, well, I didn't even feel you put it in. <laughs> so, um, that was pretty good. Um... I went to Planned Parenthood to get it done because my insurance does not cover it. They only cover the removal, which is, like, stupid, but whatever. Um, let me think. I went back to work um, full-time. Uh, wrote some stuff down. Uh, oh, yeah, my C-section. My C-section scar... It's been hurting like crazy. The doctor says she can't do anything for a year because it, it it fully takes a year for your um your C section wound to heal from inside to out. So they really can't do anything. Like if I sit for too long, if I if I stand or if I lay for too long, or if like my jeans are like on the in the um incision um scar, it hurts like. And I'll get, like, sharp pains. She said the sharp pains is, like, you're still your nerves fusing back together. So, um, yeah, I've been dealing with pain. And it started the keloid. And I'm like, oh, God. Like, my, my tummy isn't flat at all. But, like, I'm like, well, what if I do get a flat stomach and I want to show it off? I'm going to have this ugly scar, scar that keloided. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I have to wait for a year to see what what's going to happen. It's not bad, but it's just like, uh, Because it's about, I want to say about like this long. But it's, uh, it's just ugly to me. <laughs> um, okay, so I am going to start with my baby. He will be four months in a week. I can't believe it on the 23rd. <sighs> And I have a birthday coming up on the 22nd. So, on the 24th, me and baby are going to go get Easter pictures taken and, like, his four-month pictures. Um, he's teething. Oh, my God. He puts everything in his mouth. My hands, his hands, everything. He likes to bite, chew, all of that. So, 
I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like his shirt, his shirts is soaked. Like bibs, I'm going through like twenty, like a lot of bibs a day. I'm not gonna say twenty because I'm exaggerating, but I'm going through a lot of bibs a day. It's just annoying. Like I'm like, I'm glad that he might be getting teeth soon, probably around like six months. But oh god, um, let me think. Oh, he is he is very long compared to other babies. He is really long. Like, when his last, at his three-month checkup, I know some babies, they are born, like, long, but he was 18 inches, and now he's he's about 24 inches long now. So he is going to be really tall, I, I believe, and his grandmother believes that he's going to be tall. Um, he's, he's starting to sit up. Like, he can, like, sit up, but he'll lean over to the side and fall. Um... He has his own little personality. He's so freaking cute. Like, if you see he, him smile, like, and all the stuff that he do, I wish I could post the video, but my phone, not even going to talk about that, my phone, um, all of the memory deleted um, because I locked myself out of it. So I don't have any of my baby's pictures, but I'm sad about that, but I'm over it. Um... But, yeah, I'm going to try to capture his little personality. He is too cute. Like, he's rolling over from back back to tummy and tummy to back. Like, he's really advanced. He's holding his head up perfectly. Like, um, he's been holding his head up. But, um, hmm. Oh, yeah, he got his shots, his two-month shots. Oh, God, that was, those was the worst. Like, it wasn't even bad, him getting them. It was just the afterwards. Like, he, he cried and cried and cried. Like... I, I was even crying because I like I can't do anything like and then I finally gave him some Tylenol after I talked to the doctor but the doctor was like no don't give him Tylenol unless he has a fever but he didn't have a fever but he was just in pain so um I gave him the Tylenol he was fine but I'm like oh my god on the 7th of April I have to go get his four month shots and I'm just like oh I'm dreading it like I'm really dreading it I took off of work because I'm like I want to spend a whole day with my baby <sighs> Uh, oh, he is in, he's, he's in, he, he's not, he can't fit three to six months. It's not because, I mean, he can't fit zero to three anymore. He's so long that, like, his... His little three to six months, I mean, his zero to three stuff come up to here. And, like, it's, like, it come all the way down here because it's pulling because he's so tall. Um, so, he's in three to six months. Um, some of his six-month stuff fits. Some of the other stuff is too big. Um, and, and shoes, he's wearing a size two. I'm about to start buying a size three because his foot is at the top. I'm, like, this little boy is growing too fast. Um, hmm. Oh, he had a little bout of um, cradle cap. Uh, I didn't know what it was, and then until like it started to spread to his face and his ears, um, so I got him checked. They said it was like cradle cap. It, all I had to do was just keep washing his hair and moisturizing and combing out the cradle cap. And I used a special kind of shampoo, but I can't find it. Um, but the doctor said you can use California Baby. It's about $16. They sell it at Target and Babies R Us. It's supposed to work, but I didn't buy it. I, I got some other stuff from a friend. Um, but he does have eczema. I'm treating his eczema because he. I have eczema, and so does his father. So um, I'm on medicated eczema stuff, and he, the baby is on hydrocortisone 2.5%. Um, you get 1% at the... You get 1% um, over the counter, but this one is prescribed to him. Um, and I use hydrocortisone lotion 1% in his scalp because he has it in the scalp. And I, as a child, I had it in my scalp too. Um, hmm. I'm trying to make this video quick because I tend to like ramble on and on and on. But um, hmm, let me think. I went over everything. So... What does it say? I don't even know what my own handwriting says. But, okay, so I guess I will um give y'all, like, a little four months postpartum deli shot. I'm not lifting up my shirt. So, <laughs> y'all could just see um how much I lost. Um, so, I still have, like, this little pouch. But... I'm trying, but it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. 
because I, I see women who, like, still look like they're pregnant, and I do not want to ever look like I'm still pregnant. I love being pregnant, but, yeah, I got another couple of years for that. But um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I can get on here once a week and, like, update you guys with me and baby. Maybe I'll do my next update of just baby, me and baby, so you can see him and see his little personality and see how he acts. Okay, and if you do want to follow me on Instagram, it's Fianna Freckles, um, F as in Frank, I-O-N-A, F as in Frank, R-E-C-K-L-E-S. Alright, thank you guys for watching.